starting an internet business, but hell. Part 1. You have made the decision, you are seeing the shift happening, you can see that the old model of doing business is not relevant anymore, and the way forward is starting an internet business. Great decision, but what do you do next, this is where so many come unstuck. Without trying to throw cold water over anyone, there is one statistic that has to be thrown out there over 95% of those who set out on this road fail totally. And when I say totally, I really mean that they start, fail, and disappear completely. The question is if the internet is such a wonderful place to do business, why is the failure rate of starting an internet business so high? To be honest, the answer is not all that simple because there can be lots of reasons why people fail at whatever they are doing and many have nothing to do with the internet and everything to do with their attitude but that discussion is for another article, for the purposes of this article, and the next article, as I have decided to split this article into two as I want you to absorb this in manageable chunks, I am focusing in on internet businesses. So, watch out for part two. So, what are the building blocks for starting an internet business? Build it around a passion. For years, I have heard people make the decision to start a business around the belief that there is loads of money to be made in. And you can fill in the blanks. That is not the place to start. If you look at any successful person, it is abundantly clear that they started out by doing something they were passionate about. Did Bill Gates start out with the goal of making money? Not at all, he was a computer geek who had no interest in money. His passion drove him, and as a consequence he made money. So, start by doing an inventory of all the things you are passionate about. Research it. Take each one of your passions and research them. The obvious place for research is the internet. Invest time in the search engines, all the data you need to get going is there. One of the key parts of your research is to be conscious of the words that you key in to search for information. It is pretty likely that the words you have chosen are the same or similar to those that others who share that interest will use. The importance of this is that this leads you to further analysis, which is available, and free. If you look in Google Keyword Tool, you will be able to discover how many others search with those words on a monthly basis and how many competing sites exist. This is a fantastic tool and is an absolute must when starting an internet business. Identify their wants. You have now done your homework and discovered that there are a lot of people who share the same passion as you. The next step is to discover what they need and what they want. Remember, there is a difference between the two. What I need and what I want can be very different. So, be conscious of the difference. Again, your research will be able to point you in the right direction because as you search you can see how many people tap in those keywords. This is a crucial element in this process and will be an ongoing element of your business. I know that research for many can be a boring element of the job, but do not ignore it it is key to your success, and all the information you require is there for you. Decide on your model. This is crucial. The options are varied and it is critical you decide on which one you are taking. You can decide to produce your own products to satisfy the market need, you can promote other people's products and earn commission, you can become a coach or you can simply produce information that people find useful. There is no right or wrong, but you must decide on which one is the route for you. Once you have completed these four steps, you are ready to go to the next stage of starting an internet business. Watch out for part two.